started with Waimarama Anderson petitioning Parliament to commemorate the New Zealand Wars. I was 14 and Waimarama was 16. It was seeing the lack of apology for such a traumatic event that really hit home for us and we really felt in that moment empowerment to do something. The name of the petition that we gave forth was the petition to commemorate the New Zealand Land Wars. I felt through this petition that we can make a difference and these stories can be heard and it was a good way for people who didn't come to the kaupapa that we were at, for them to have their say and feel included. Take the people with you because the people will be the ones to wipe away your tears and get you through the hard times. So a petition is a formal written request, typically signed by many people, but it can be signed by one person, that appeals to uh, authority regarding a cause. You have your covering letter, which sets out what your goals are, what the clauses of your petition are. You need to make sure that people sign with their full name. So printing their full name and their signature. When you go in front of the select committee, that's when you have to respond to and address the clauses within your petition, what your goals are and what you require of, um, of MPs and of the parliamentary process. So we were requiring or asking for um, a statutory day of commemoration, funding and resourcing in schools. One of the uh, incredible events that happened post the petition being tabled was the plaque. On the same day we had the New Zealand Wars plaque put up, the history curriculum announced and the pardoning of Rua Kenana. We really achieved what we set out to achieve at the start of the petition process, which was really just a greater conversation within nationwide, but within our own communities about our own histories and how we came to be. And that was really what we wanted. Being young and engaging with parliamentary processes, I would actually say is an asset. Sometimes people think that young people don't necessarily have enough wisdom, but I would say we have less noise around us to know exactly what we want and to know what we need to do. Start from your values, start from what is important to you and know that no matter where you come from, that your voice is so important. So back yourself and back, um, back what you value, so yeah.